It's just defensive, but you see that one. Woo! See that long tail? Check that out. Woo! Man, he's fiery. For the one, you know. For the one. Now, I've not gotten him to bite and hold on yet. Oh, why did I say that? How about that, guys? It's a Waggler's Viper. One of the coolest pit vipers on the whole planet. Yep, he does. Isn't that weird? And it's gone. It's like the South Park meme. And it's gone. We're not here to get bitten. We're here to show off these animals, admire them, learn from them. Ooh, man, is he fiery. What a cool snake. Yes, sir. Can I have some more? Some more? Welcome back, everybody. We're here. Not much of a snake room, but we're in the snake room. We got a lot of a lot, a lot of fun stuff to do today. I know you guys have been waiting quite a long time. We've done like two or three episodes since we showed you the new snakes to unveil our other new snake. And by the end of this episode, Blake and I are gonna figure out the names for our new squams. Because you guys left a lot of good suggestions. We've we've picked a few out that we like more, so we're gonna quickly, while we're filming, go through, pick our names, and uh, we're gonna let you know what they are. Before we show you the new snake, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna feed three of the squams. Another squam I'm treating right now, the red squam is having a respiratory issue, so we're not gonna mess with her right now. I know that's all of you guys' favorites, that's my favorite too. We're not gonna mess with her right now. We got the blue squam, the green squam, and the yellow squam, and our new secret snake. Well, it's not gonna be so secret anymore. So we're gonna go through and feed all of them, and then we'll pick their names at the end, and that'll be a whole, a whole fun video. Maybe we'll go see Bob too, I know you guys love Bob, so. Let's do it. First one, this green and yellow swamp. Probably the meanest snake that I've got. And I got a new snake hook from a buddy of mine. Because as small as these snakes are, I was still getting a little too close. And uh, my mom called me and said to stop being a dick. So I'm gonna stop being a dick. When I get this open, ooh, this guy, ooh, he's not, ooh, not ever has he been happy to see me. Oh! Man, oh man, bro. Now this guy is a real douche. He's just defensive, but you see that one? Ooh! See that long tail? Check that out. Ooh! Man, he's fiery. Obviously the most fiery snake I have. This squam means, ooh! He means business. These African bush vipers said it once, I'll say it again. Damn, said it once, I'll say it again. Animals from Africa are not one to be taken advantage of. They got that dog in them, that natural born instinct, that killer instinct. As short as this snake is, he can launch. That's why we got this extra long snake hook because I had a few where, where you're feeling the wind. If you're feeling the wind from a snake strike, you're too close. Whether it's a swam, whether it's a cottonmouth, a king cobra, it doesn't matter what it is. We're not here to get bitten. We're here to show off these animals, admire them, Learn from them. Ooh, man, is he fiery. What a cool snake. So I'm gonna put him down here. We're gonna get a mouse out for him and we're gonna give him some food here. Little mouse, little mouse, little mouse. Come on, dude. You're a pain in the booty here. Now, I've not gotten him to bite and hold on yet. Oh, right as I say that. How about that, guys? That is a beauty right there. Golly, look at the colors on him. How freaking cool is that? All right, we're gonna give him a couple minutes because the real show is when you guys see this blue squam eat. I've never seen anything like it. So I'm gonna put his lid back on because he's a fussy one. I don't wanna bother him too much. We're gonna let him eat these two meals. We're gonna check out his brothers. Last but not least for our variable bush vipers here, AKA squams. This snake, you guys, I'm telling you, I've never seen a snake like this snake when it comes to eating. It is crazy, crazy ridiculous. Watch this. Look at him, look how he, boom! Oh, one more bite there, dude. Startled him a bit there. Watch this. So it's already record slow now that I hyped him up, but he bit it sideways, it's not his fault. Watch the way this snake Chows that meal down, bro. That is ridiculous. Now he got that one sideways, so you're gonna have to forgive him. 
but I mean, this is real time. This better, better, better. Now to be fair, not a huge meal for him, a pinky. He could arguably eat a fuzzy right now, but again, I'm keeping him on small meals. I'll just give him a few pinkies at a time. Once I have him in a bigger enclosure, when I know they're eating, pooping, everything, doing everything regularly, it's gonna be less, less important, but I'm really trying to keep track of the movement of these snakes here. All right, we're having some issues here. I was out of town for a while. We got bad lighting. It's been a while since we were filming in here. This will be the one. He's had three, you've seen two. We thought we filmed the third one, we didn't. That's okay. That's on me. Hey guys, I've done it a million times. We all know, we all start where we start, boys and girls. So we're gonna see if he wants one more. Yep, he does, isn't that weird? And it's gone. It's like the South Park meme, and it's gone. That is just crazy. He is a bad mama jamma. Yes, sir. Can I have some more? Some more? Yeah, you're done, brother. Four? I mean, I'm sure, honestly, guys. Stop. This one's still trying to bite me down below. This thing could probably eat six pinkies. Like I've said a million times, though. But they're, we're getting them acclimated. We're working on it. We gotta keep track of their bowel movements. We gotta feed them somewhat consistently so we know. Because if he eats four, he's gonna poop more and bigger. Then he ate two, he ate one. But since he ate four, he ate two, he ate one, they're all gonna be moving their bowels differently. Maybe same timing, but his will be a lot more, so it makes it a little hard to keep track of, but that's why I have a whiteboard where I write. No. That's why I have a whiteboard where I write everything down. He's looking at me, he can smell the other mice. He wants another one. He's already had four. Should I give him another one? I'm not gonna give him another one. I'm not gonna overfeed. I'm not gonna give in to his greed. But look at this guy. He usually is not too fired up, but golly. Such a pretty snake, man. These swamps. Remember, shout out to our the legend Jordan JB Exotics. The man, the myth. Alright, maybe you're just sending me all your mean snakes, bro, so I don't know about that. But now it's time, ladies and gentlemen. The moment you've all been waiting for. The moment I've been waiting for. I finally get to show you my newest snake, my favorite snake. Even though I just said this is one of my favorites, this next thing I'm showing you is my favorite. And the reason I waited so long to show you is because it's a sensitive species. I had to get two meals into him and get one poop out of him. Now that that's happened, we're gonna show you a live, or not a live feeding. He's alive, the feeding's not alive. We're gonna show you a feeding with this newest snake. A few of you guessed it. Not many of you, but a few of you guessed it. So I'm gonna get this snake out. And if you got it right, comment down below. I'll pin your comment, call you a legend, all that good stuff. But first, let's put this guy away safely and let's get out that new snake. Guys, this is why, Jesus, Mark, I stop filming this guy when he's eating. Because he's underneath that other one while we're eating. And look at him. He's just a genuine nozzle. And you can see he's got heat bits, so he knows this isn't me. He sees the hook. He's like, bro, why would I strike at that when I could bite you? It would be way cooler to bite you. But unfortunately for him, I learned from the best. We don't get close to these fiery little pit vipers here. We're gonna close him up, let him do his thing, and it's on to the mystery snake. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. You guys ready? What do you think it is? If you're reading the box right now, you're pretty smart. Oh. How gnarly is this guy? This, as, a, as most of you are probably aware of, is a waggler's viper one of the coolest pit vipers on the whole planet. And this right here is a pretty unique one too. I've never seen one with these red and yellow bands like this. With that big head of his, he is just a gnarly, gnarly looking snake. Golly, man. You see, look at those ventrals, that bright green, that head with the black accents on every scale. And this snake is very, very mild mannered. I could probably hold the snake in my hand. Fortunately for you guys, I'm not gonna do that. Fortunately for my mother, actually. Unfortunately for you guys. But something about this snake, looks like he's got Native American war paint on his face. That yellow and maroon red stripe going across his eye. Alien-like, dragon-like snake. Absolutely wild looking. Whew, careful. Now, unfortunately, 
Unfortunately, all they had at the pet store was day old pinkies. But since this guy is eating, actually, I'm gonna go get other fish. This guy is eating rat pinkies, but they only had day old mice pinkies. So we're gonna give him a few of those real quick, but I'm gonna go get longer tweezers real quick. So the vision cage that I was sitting on just broke. So there goes my chair, but we're gonna feed him. Now, I don't want you guys in the comments telling me how small these meals are, blah, 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 blah. I just said the pet store didn't have his size mice. I am feeding him lots of the babies, okay? He don't like the fur on his, he don't want the fur on his food. He wanted hairless. Hey, you know, there's a dirty jerk in there somewhere bad and I wanted to eat it if it's furry, but you guys can make that yourselves, all right? The point is, we're feeding him. Get over it, let's watch. Now he is a little violent when it comes to eating. And let's see here. About the size of a pinky. I'll try to add one, save you a better one. Maybe it'll look bigger and better for him. Maybe it won't. Come on, buddy. Bite down on that now. Oh, girl, no, girl. Come on, brother. Do for the vine. Now he might not eat it because it's so small. I'm really hoping he will. For the one time. For the yayo. For the whoa. You know? For the whoa. Now I know you're thinking. Hey, rubbing it on his face doesn't make him want to eat it more. You're right, but <laughs> it'd make me like a feel good or something. Come on, bro. Two for the vine. Uh, uh. He's like, yo, if this was food, it would not be this bold to just touch me. All right, dude, whatever, man. You're just really being weird. <laughs> well, <laughs> remember when I said he was mild manner? I saw that coming. Yeah. I will admit, guys, that was a veteran move by Blake. He saw the snake tense up, he took a nice step back, and right as he did, boom! Strike. Come on, dude. You want me and another pink gun? Don't look at me, brother. Look at the strength, the core strength of that snake periscope up at this rat. How freaking awesome is that, you guys? Again, this is from JNV Exotics, my homie. Look at that, look at that, wow. Holy moly, that was incredible. All right, well, he's not really going for it, you guys, and him being a sensitive snake, I don't really want to bug him too much. So I'm just gonna go ahead, relax, relax. He smells food, which is the frustrating part. Like, I can tell he's hungry. Maybe I'll check if there's like PetSmart or something has a rat pinky. Since the reptile still didn't. That snake right there is what you would classify as a dream viper. That is just one of the coolest animals you can possibly imagine. Now I know there's cooler snakes out there. Blah, 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 blah. But I mean, come on now. Come on now, y'all. That right there, boy. That right there, crazy. Wagglers, Pit Viper. Very, very cool. Now he has had two meals, like I said, but he could definitely eat right now. So I've got two pinkies in his, in his container for him that hopefully he'll eat once we leave him alone. Just don't wanna bother him too much. But dude, come on, you guys. And remember, some of you got this right. So comment 
and then I'll go back and verify to make sure it was you that got it right. I'll pin your comment. You'll be today's weekly winner. And then I guess whoever picked the names, I'll go back through and see who picked the names and I'll shout you out, but I can't pin you. Cause, well, I'll pin you the other video, all right? So we're gonna put him back. We're gonna go back real quick, choose the names for these vipers, and then that'll be that. And you're probably wondering, how can the bottom of his enclosure is just water? Well, because that's what I was told to do by the people who know better than I do. And I'm willing to bet that that's none of you. Respectfully though, respectfully. People that provided me with these animals and the people that taught me how to care for these animals instructed me, half inch of water, fencing, until we get him in an enclosure, until we got him settled. That's what he gets. And he's loving it, he's eating, he's drinking, he's pooping, he's peeing. He's doing what snakes do. So we're gonna slowly but surely close this up. Secure, secure. Wow, 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 wow. wow. Remember guys, J and me exotics. That's why I got these from, check them out on Instagram. He's a hell of a guy. He's a little bit of a pervert, so am I, so it's all good. We're going with the most liked comment, okay? Because this is a community, the community has decided this one had 30 likes. The closest one behind that one was like six or seven likes. So you guys have spoken. We're going Pokemon themed here. Charizard, Venusaur, Blastoise, and Pikachu. Y'all heard it here first. 30 likes, Andrew Meek 4490. So Andrew, I'm pinning your comment right now. Look, pin, pin. You're the winner. You're the champion. You can say these you might as well be these snakes daddy. You heard me, Andrew? Shout out to Andrew, shout out to all three of you who liked that. There was also like six replies saying, hell yeah, go for it. So, unanimously, that's the winner. That's the champion. Those are the names. Pokemon. I ain't mad at it, I play Pokemon. I did. I, I, can, I can F-U-X with it, y'all know what I'm saying? So, congrats, Andrew. Thank you for the creative, we'll say creative, names. Fits them very well, they're dragon-like. They're, 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 they're monster like so badass names for some badass snakes. Thanks, Andrew. Well, kids, another video down, another fun video down, another exciting video down. Again, thanks to all of you who participated or commented or liked uh, some our name ideas for for the uh, for the squams. Told from the same people that created the super creative name Bluey of my lady here. Really just lovely stuff. In here doing some snake room stuff. Y'all know how I do it. But thank you guys. We appreciate you. We love you. We got a few ideas coming up. For some fun videos. We're gonna take Bob out for a whole day again. Take him to the beach again. Take him to the pet store. See what, see how people react to, to seeing a tortoise out there. Last time we were at the beach with Bob, we had people telling me to put the sea turtle back. We had people trying to feed him bread. Pretty hilarious. So we're gonna have a full day with Bob. I know you guys don't want it. Until then, thank you. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Bluey needs you to do it. She really, really does. How else are we gonna afford frogs for the damn snakes? So thank you guys. We appreciate you. It was a fun one. I'm probably forgetting something, but it's all right. We'll see you later.